Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss areas of a triangle. Now, when we are doing areas of a triangle, we know that the area of a triangle is equal to half base times height. Now the height refers to the perpendicular height of the triangle. If I ask what is the area of this triangle, you would say half of AB, which is the base, times DC, which is the perpendicular height. If I gave you another triangle, it's exactly between the same space as C and D. So let's say these lines are parallel. Now you know between two parallel lines, the length is always the same. The perpendicular height or the distance between the two parallel lines are always exactly the same. Right? So if I had said, listen, there's another triangle here. What would the area of the triangle of CEB me? So we know that this one is area of triangle ABC. What would the area of the triangle C E B equal to? We're going to say half and then we're going to say the base C E and then we're going to say times the perpendicular height which in this case is F B. But we know that F B is equal to C D. Now look at the two. If I was going to say that the areas are equal to ABC is equal to a half AB times DC. So let us discuss the areas. If I were to write it as a ratio, half would cancel with half. We know that FB is equal to CD, so that could cancel. So what we can say about the ratios of the areas is that it would be relevant to their bases. If you look at it, I am not saying that the areas are equal. I am saying that the areas, the ratios would be based on the bases of the triangles. So if we were calculating the area, let's say I said this height is 10 and I said this base is 5 but the base of CE is 10. Now if I was going to do the area of triangle ABC, I'm going to say half times 5 times 10 and if I'm doing the area of triangle CEB, I'm going to say half times 10 times 10. Now look at what happens. If I had to reduce it, the ratio would be 5 over 10. If I wanted to get the answer without doing all of this work, because I know that the heights are the same, all I had to do was say, okay, look at the base of AB and look at the base of CE. What is the base of AB? It would be 5 and the base of CE would be 10. So all I had to do was look at the bases. The base for triangle ABC was 5. The base of triangle CEB was 10 and I got the answer without doing all of this work. Okay, so what is our conclusion? If the heights are the same but the bases are different, then their bases are in proportion. Let's look at another one. If you look at triangle ABC and triangle BCD, they have the same base. Their bases are BC. Now, I don't have a perpendicular height for either one, but let's say the height I draw it, and the height for both of them is exactly the same. So the area of triangle ABC is going to equal to a half, my base is BC, 
times my height which is EC and then I have it over and I've got it area of triangle BDC it's going to be half my base is BC and my height is EC now what do you notice they are exactly the same so when they have the same bases if you have the same base and the same height then what can you tell me about their areas if they are on the same base and they have the same height then they have equal areas now these two examples regarding areas will become very handy when we are doing all the proofs for grade 12 so make sure you understand these rules so the first rule that we are emphasizing on that if the heights are the same but the bases are different then their bases are in proportion and if they are having the same base and the same height then they have the equal then they have equal areas thank you for watching